Hello, this is Deepa Lou, and I'm the creative mystic. And I ring this bell to awaken you to the divine presence that's within you and to send you so you can feel the blessings of Divine Mother, of Spirit of God. So I'm so grateful you're here today because today Mother Mary of Unconditional Love came forth and volunteered and she really wants to bless you with you know, what exactly is unconditional love and actually how do you practice it so you can enjoy your holidays? Because even though we love our families, right? We love them. Sometimes families can be difficult, right? Maybe there's some dysfunction or maybe you just have a challenging relationship with a family member that makes it so you don't enjoy the holiday as much as you could. And so Mother Mary Unconditional Love told me she wanted to volunteer today and give a message, an intuitive message about what unconditional love is and, you know, how do you actually practice it in your day? Because when we go do family gatherings, when we get into these larger groups, it can sometimes be difficult. You know, maybe you don't have fun, but you go out of obligation or maybe you have fun, but then there's also chaos that happens um, or maybe you have fun on most of it but then there was this one person you have challenges with and so mother mary came forth today really wanting to share with you her intuitive guidance on what exactly what exactly unconditional love is and how you can practice it so that your holidays can be the enjoyable thing they're supposed to be you know because she says here she's already starting to come through telling me that you know our family, our holidays, our times of celebration are meant to be enjoyable. Are meant to be fun. You're meant to actually, you know, go to your family and enjoy. Okay. Now, you might be thinking, well, yes, but how do you give unconditional love to somebody who, you know, is dysfunctional or has a drinking problem or, you know, there could be endless things of maybe they criticize constantly um, or maybe they, you know, are just depressed and it's not fun to be around. You know, how do you actually practice unconditional love? Well, first of all, Mother Mary is saying you have to know what it is. And she's saying, you know, a lot of people, she's saying that people think that unconditional love is that you become a doormat that you let the people that you love do and say whatever they want to say, and you just have to put up with it. And then, and that, you know, showing unconditional love is listening to them, to them complain, or that you think it's that you should show up even out of obligation, not because you really want to be there. Or you feel obligated to take care of someone in your family because, you know, they have poor health and they, have dysfunction where they don't actually take care of themselves you know maybe they have the poor health because they keep smoking or keep eating food they know that creates more problems for them you know whatever that is because you know it, it can be challenging to be around and so mother mary is talking about the whole energy of unconditional love because she's saying this energy of unconditional love is healing not just for the other person but for you she says, in fact, with unconditional love, it starts with yourself. If you want to be a vessel of unconditional love for others, you have to practice this unconditional love with yourself. So the first thing she's saying that is required to, to actually be unconditional love, to practice unconditional love, is you start with yourself. You start with practicing unconditional love with your body, with your thoughts, with your mind, with everything about you, okay? Whatever your habits are, you want to provide unconditional love to yourself. She's saying that's the first and foremost thing. If you want to go to your family members and be able to like accept them unconditionally, love them unconditionally, you have to love yourself unconditionally first. And you might be thinking now, how do I do that? And she's saying, Okay, the first step in unconditional love for yourself is accepting everything about you and embracing it. So maybe you have a habit that you see is not a good habit. 
maybe you smoke or maybe you drink or maybe you watch too much tv or play too many video games she's saying you know and you might be judging yourself for that or maybe you just don't do something as well as another person you know like that compare thing that people do right she's saying unconditional love let go of comparing you don't ever want to compare yourself to another person that's the first step in unconditional love you know is that acceptance of not comparing. When you accept how you are, you don't compare. You don't look at someone else and go, I wish that I could do that, I could do what they're doing. And in the sense of like compare, you know, it's okay to say, I want to be um, successful, like so and so, as long as you're not envying them. She's saying that's perfectly okay, okay. But she's saying you don't want to compare to any other person, except for maybe you from the day before. And even that, she says, you don't want to compare, but you do want to acknowledge improvement because the more you acknowledge improvement, the more you're going to do something and create it in your life. Okay. So she's saying in that, uh, uh, the practice of unconditional love of yourself, accept yourself right where you are with all of you, no matter what weight you are, no matter what your habits are, no matter you know what you think is bad about you um, and good about you, just accept yourself the way you are, okay? And practice that unconditional love of really just accepting where you are and not comparing to others, okay? Letting go of the comparison game will help you to start to love yourself unconditionally. Okay, so as she's saying this about letting go of the comparison game, she's saying what she wants to do if you want to practice unconditional love and what unconditional love is, is that unconditional love is the acceptance of where a person is spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. That's what unconditional love is. That you don't try to force them to move faster, or and this is for yourself first, you don't try to get yourself to go faster or be or like do it differently than the way you're wired, okay? Now, there's a difference between your wiring and like doing something out of dysfunction, okay? If you have emotional wounds, that will cause you to do things out of dysfunction. And that emotional wound is anytime you react about something, okay? So you wanna get that. She's saying that unconditional love is about accepting yourself where you are. I'm gonna repeat it again. She's saying, repeat this again, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. So if you're gonna accept yourself physically, you want to accept yourself and love everything about your body. So instead of criticizing the way your hair looks or the wrinkles on your face or your legs or your tummy, if it sticks out too far or something, it's like, love that tummy just the way it sticks out. Love the way your hair is, you know? And if, let's say you have an ache or a pain, let's say your back hurts or your knee hurts, instead of being like, oh, which is go away. She's saying, send love, unconditional love that you have a knee, that you have a back and that yes, you're having pain. And what that pain is telling you is that you need to do something different. She's saying, anytime you have a pain physically, it's telling you, you need to do something different. It's not happening to just make your life miserable. It's what do you need to do different? And so if you love any pain you're having, any emotional pain you're having, that means you're embracing it. And then you can be open to the possibility of a new answer, possibility of doing something different. Okay. But you have to love it first. You have to love you first, because if you are resisting it, resenting it, trying to push it away, wishing it, it will go away, you're not loving yourself unconditionally. So that's if you have a physical problem, if you have an emotional issue where you have reactive wounds, where something gets pressed on and you react and you realize, ah, oh, wish I hadn't done that. Or you, you know, you don't feel proud of yourself for doing that. You love yourself with that reaction and love that part of you that reacted. Doesn't mean you want to keep doing it. It means when you love yourself, even though you reacted, you'll start to understand. You start to go, okay, let me ask what part of me is hurt. What's the emotional wound? What's the story with that wound that's getting pushed on and why I react? See, that's unconditional love is, is, is accepting you have this wound and caring for yourself, loving yourself with it. What do I need to give myself to heal this? What do I need to do for myself to be able to, you know, 
embrace this and let it go too because embracing it first then allows you to let it go by embracing and going oh i have this emotional wound where when uh, I, it could be something like maybe somebody doesn't show up and it makes you feel like there's something wrong with you. Or maybe, you know, somebody keeps criticizing you and it makes you really feel like, you know, like, like, they're, like you're not enough, you know, like, you, of course, you don't want to be criticized. But if you can actually get in the place of go, they criticize because of their stuff and love yourself the way you are and love them with and, and understand that they have emotional wounds. You know what? Um, this is me talking for a minute. I, I, uh, Mother Mary wants me to share this with you. Uh, one of the things that happened for me was years ago, and it's still a practice that I have to work on, is I realized that, you know, there really aren't like a bunch of evil people in the world. It's there. They are extremely wounded people in the world. They, they have a lot of emotional wounds. They won't actually address it and be with their emotions and their feelings. And so that comes out in this dysfunctional, maybe angry, violent, maybe what seems evil to you, but they have, you know, everybody has that you know, divine soul in them that when they're not in that wounded energy, you know, they're this amazing spiritual being. Okay. So, it, when you can start to see that there is this this amazing spiritual being underneath it that is just wounded, then you can have more acceptance of someone's behavior rather than judging it yourself or getting upset or maybe their their behavior pushes your buttons so that you you know react to it. So that unconditional love of like the emotional side, and then there's the unconditional love of mentally loving yourself. What are your mental habits? You know, because the mental habits are what actually create your life. And sometimes we can get frustrated with ourselves mentally. Like maybe you keep having a worry, 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 or you keep uh, doing the same habit over and over, or you keep thinking about something over and over and over and you want to let it go, you know, rather than like, ah, I want to stop it. Mother Mary's saying, love that part of you unconditionally love that part of you that's doing it because they're doing it because they think this is going to help you survive see but what mother mary is saying is she's saying we want to help you get into thriving rather than surviving and so if you're in survival mode you're not going to create this life you love she's saying if you want to thrive you love that part of you that's trying to help you and you try to understand that part of you that's causing you to mentally think things bad that are like negative or that you keep worrying about something and it's not helping and you know it, you know, and so you love that part of you that thinks that worrying is going to help you and you ask it what it needs. That's how you love yourself unconditionally on the mental level, okay? And then of course, spiritually, you might be thinking, well, why would I need to put spiritual in there? But I see when you're on the spiritual path and if you're listening to this podcast, you probably a spiritual person, right? That we as spiritual seekers will sometimes judge ourselves for the level of spiritual development of where we are, right? We wanna be further along or we're not happy that we didn't hold the highest spiritually. See, so you have to accept yourself where you are spiritually. How much can you live in the spiritual truth? Accept that because then you can, you know, when you love that and accept that, then you can actually continue to grow spiritually, get more expansive consciousness where you can understand the spiritual truth at a deeper level. When you provide unconditional love of accepting right where you are spiritually. Like I'll say like, yeah, spiritually, I know that we're all one intellectually, but spiritually, I don't live it 100% because I can still think of someone as them. When, when you actually understand the spiritual truth and you're living it completely spiritually, you know there is no them. You know that we're all one and that we're connected and that, you know, this idea of us and them it's just going to make the world more divisive. 
So when you can actually go, well, we're all connected and how is this a reflection of what I'm doing or what I'm believing or what I'm thinking or, you know, or energetically where I am because we're all a vibration of energy and our vibration determines what we attract. It determines, you know, what we manifest in our lives and what kind of life we have. So, but loving what you've created, loving yourself spiritually right where you are on the level of, of understanding you have in spiritual truths is so important because if you pretend you understand and are living it more than you are, then you're going to struggle and that's not loving yourself unconditionally. It's about not pretending you're further along than you are, but saying, this is where I am in my spiritual development. And this is just the right place I'm supposed to be. And as I continue to study more and practice more and, you know, go out there and have my spiritual experiences, I'll keep expanding my consciousness. But if I try to like pretend I'm further along than you really are, it stunts the growth. And so Mother Mary is saying about really love yourself unconditionally by accepting where you are and letting go of comparison. So like in the spiritual uh, journey, Often people will look at other people and try to do what they're doing and wonder why it doesn't work for them because you're wired differently. Okay. And so you want to accept that, that you want to love and accept the way you're wired. And so you might be wondering what that means. Like I'm wired as an empath. All right. I'm, I feel what other people's emotions are. I, you know, can feel like where there's parking spots because I can feel the energy, you know, I'm very energy driven. Um, you know, all that I can feel as an impact. This It's one of the ways I'm wired. I'm wired to like feel the energy. I'm wired to like, um, like not necessarily, uh, well, I would say I used to think I was wired not to see things visually, but I do see things visually now from doing my creativity. It's expanded my spiritual gifts and, and awakened another part of me. But you might be in a place where you don't see things visually. You know, like you go to do guided meditations and you don't see anything. I was at that place one point you know, where I would go to guided meditations and I wouldn't see a thing. Okay. And when I started doing my creativity of creating these sacred spirit guides, things just blossomed and opened up. Okay. So, so mother Mary is saying that by accepting all these areas, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, really loving yourself unconditionally and all love, uh, loving yourself unconditionally is, is accepting And then going, well, what do I need to do to help myself to go to that next level, to take that next step, to help me heal if there's something to heal and, and love yourself enough to actually act on the guidance that you're getting, whether that guidance is coming from yourself or from your higher power, maybe your spirit guide, Mother Mary, God, whatever it is that you believe in your higher power, that you're actually following it, that's the unconditional love. You listen to yourself and you follow it. So by doing all this, Mother Mary is saying for yourself first, you will love others unconditionally. You will do it for others. You will accept others where they are. You will allow and know, well, I see I have emotional wounds, Uh, Even though I don't know what theirs are, I know they have them too. And that allows you to have more of that unconditional love so that when you go to your holiday events, your family events, you can have more patience and more of your energy centered in that energy of love rather than judgment or resentment or resistance, which is all pushing it away and keeping you out of that energy of love. And so Mother Mary is asking you during these holiday times to really practice unconditional love for yourself so that when you go to your family events, if you have a challenging family member, you can practice it with them. Okay. And, and she wants you to get the word. It's a practice. People think that you're going to have unconditional love, like a snap. And it's a practice. She wants you to get that it's something you practice. You practice it as much as you can with yourself. And then you can take that growth that you've done with you and practice it with others. All right. So if you have any questions about unconditional love or what Mother Mary's message is, love to hear them. 
And if you uh, liked what you've heard here, please subscribe or share the video or give, or give me a like, a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any uh, questions or would like to see more of my work, please go to deepaloo.com. Remember, greatness is within you. It's time to let it out so that you can let your blessings out because blessings transform the world. They transform your heart. They take you out of your head to your heart so you can open your heart and know what your truth is and act from that love. All right. Blessings. Have a miraculous day.